Hello, I'm Dave, back with another pick video for tomorrow, and I want to say God bless America and the First Amendment. People don't say that enough, I think they should or at least think it, but I'll say it. This isn't a political show though, this is a sports betting show, and we've got a pick for tomorrow, which is October 26, 2022. I'm going to the game between the Atlanta Hawks and the Detroit Pistons. Neither team are world beaters. I guess you could say that Atlanta, their biggest question was DeJounte Murray and how he'd mesh with Trey Young. And I think they're going to be okay. Trey Young, these first three games, hasn't uh, shot quite as well as he's done in his career, but I think that corrects itself. And then the Pistons on the other side, you know, you know, God bless the Pistons too, because they're just peren perennially not very good. I find a lot of spots to bet on them. I don't know where they're going to come in the early season because Marvin Bagley's out. I mean, Kate Cunningham's there. They have a lot of good young talent. Um, they got that uh, Jaden Ivory from, uh, or Jaden Ivy from Purdue. A lot of good young talent, but the future's TBD because the present is ugly. Um, you know, if, if you go and look at their stats, 17th in scoring, 28th in field goal percentage, 27th free throw percentage, 19th. I mean, they're just really, really bad. And on defense, it's even worse. 26 in scoring, 26 in field goal percentage, 23 from three point range, um, as, as far as, uh, three point defense. And I know these are, these might get better, but they're bad. They're really bad right now. And do you, do you expect the Pistons to be a great team or a great defending team or a great scoring team? I don't necessarily. Maybe they keep it competitive, but, uh, you know, they haven't covered a spread this season. And then the Hawks, I won't go through things specifically. I'll just say that their offense, um, well, I will. 15th in scoring, 10th in field goal percentage, 18th in three point. So they're, they're above average to average at almost everything. The one thing they do really well is shoot free throws, number one in free throw percentage so far. And then on defense, they're actually really good. Fourth in scoring, seventh in field goal percentage, first in three point defense. So, I mean, those are every reason to think they can cover a seven point spread. I see some seven and a halfs. It looks like it's going that way and getting juiced. Um, I think the thing that pushes, pushes me over the edge is that the, the Hawks are the number one free throw shooting percentage team so far. They're doing well at the charity line, which is super important at covering spreads. One of the most important stats, I think. And then also Detroit hasn't covered a spread yet and don't look very good. And until there's a glimmer of hope, or a bigger spread to exploit, I'm gonna go with this with the with the Hawks team and, and lay seven points. So Hawks laying seven points. That's my bet for tomorrow, guys. Thanks for watching. Hit the like and subscribe. See you then.